Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video. We're beginning with the first video of the year and we have some really cool hidden features to share with you guys. We have more than 20 hidden features that you should know on your iOS 17 device that are actually super useful. The first one will be subscriptions. So when you go to your Apple ID at the top of the settings app, you will have a section for all the subscriptions that you have. Now what you will have here, you have the active subscriptions and of course the inactive subscriptions. Now what you can do is also tap this button right there and here you can change the sort of your subscriptions. The price, from of course the most the cheapest one to the most expensive and then you will also have here the renewal date so the one that you will have to renew first will be at the top so you know of course which ones are coming next now when you go to one of your subscriptions or what you can do here is tap on a subscription and you will have here the plans of this app so you will have your subscriptions here where you can change it of course you can cancel it now if you want to change your subscription you just tap on see all plans and here will have all the plans that that app has to offer and you can actually go ahead and change them directly from here and also here under apple id at the top of the settings app you can go to media and purchases and here will have the purchase history of your apple id everything that you have purchased on the app store so you can see right here all the things you can show the last 90 days you can tap there to choose which date range you want to show you can tap here to choose whether you want to see the paid ones that you have paid or only the free ones and you will have the different types here subscriptions apps books and all that so we will have basically everything here that you have ever like purchased with your apple id in one place Moving on to Safari. Now Safari has a ton of different features that a lot of people actually forget about and actually never use on their device, even though those are pretty useful. And one of them is this one right here. When you go to your tabs, you can now actually rearrange them manually any way you like. You can also tap and hold one of them, and then you can choose to arrange tabs by title and also arrange tab tabs by website as easy as that. When in Safari on iOS 17, what you can do is do a quick voice search on any website, anywhere you're at. All you have to do if you want to do a voice search is tap and hold the address bar right there. And then it shows a voice search. You tap there. You can now actually go ahead and start a voice search, which will be, of course, a Google search. When you're customizing your wallpaper on iOS 17, you will have a few different styles here, which you can use to customize your wallpaper, like the dual tone right here. But did you know that you can also customize any of these styles? So if I choose to use dual tone here, I can tap here and I can switch to another color right there. So I will have a different look on the wallpaper. And the color wash here will have also the same thing. Now, some wallpapers will have more options to customize them. Of course, some will have less based on which colors are featured on that wallpaper. Now, another pretty cool trick on iOS 17 is that when you have recorded a slow-mo video, you can actually change that and turn it into a normal video. It's not actually a feature, it's a trick that you can do. You simply tap the edit button and you will see this line right here. Now, you can see the lines there which indicate where the slow-mo part is. All you have to do is just drag this and just bring those two lines together right there tap the dumb button and now you can you have actually turned a slow-mo video into a normal video now here's something pretty cool you can now have an icon for the tv remote right on the home screen of your device i can tap this and i can go straight to the remote well this is a shortcut that you can of course add to your home screen and this is how you create it you open the shortcuts app and you will need to add this text right there so you tap the plus button here and what you need to do is tap on add action and just type this, what you will see right here in the screen right now. Let me show you that. So you will need to type this TV remote and then you will have two slashes there. And then you tap the plus button and add the open URL shortcut. Once you have done that, you tap the dumb button. Of course, you can change the icon here to the TV icon. You can do that, of course, by tapping right here on choose icon tab there and just search for tv here 
and they will have that icon so when you add it to the home screen it actually looks really cool with the files app on ios 17 you can convert images so if i have a few images here i want to convert one of them i can just 3d touch on that image and now it allows me to go to quick actions now on the quick actions here i can tap on convert image and right here i will have three different type of files to which i can convert this image as simple as that choose the size of the image and you're good to go now ios 17 and the files app also offers you a really cool feature if i tap on one of the pictures here i can tap on quick look now quick look will show me that picture but what i can do is also tap right there and it shows me all the different files that i have on that folder and of course i can even swipe like this to move between different files but if i just want to see all the files i can do it from here and this allows me to actually quickly move between all the files that i have on that folder now when i'm on a folder i can create another like subfolder with any file i want so here i have this picture let's say i'm on this folder but i want to separate that picture into another folder here has, here's what i do i 3d touch on it and it shows me here an option to actually create a new folder with items so if i tap it there it creates a new folder containing that file as easy as that now here are some really cool features that are really old on ios but i'm pretty sure none of you guys are using on your iphone and one of them will be i know it's pretty simple yet it's very useful the 3d touch menu of the settings app whenever you need to actually turn off the wi-fi bluetooth seller data or go to your battery settings you can do that quickly from here i know this is old but probably a lot of people have actually forgotten about this feature so if i tap there i don't actually need to search for the battery section on the settings app i can quickly go there another one is the app store 3D touching on the app store gives you the option to quickly search from here. And if you want to redeem a code, try it and you will see how hard it is to find the redeem code button on the app store app. But you can find it right here under the 3D touch menu, tap there, it goes straight there or straight to your updates. Now here's something I believe every iOS 17 user must do on their device. Head on to your settings app, go under accessibility and then go to touch and you will have here haptic touch now the default will be of course the default on ios 17 but make sure you choose fast and this will make your device seem much much faster you can see how quickly it reacts when using 3d touch when you have the fast option enabled it's really amazing and of course using this on daily basis you will notice how much faster your ios device will be now here's a really cool feature on the notes app whenever you're on one of your notes if you swipe down like this it will reveal the date that the note has been created but if you tap on that date right there it will actually change to create it and then to the edit it and then to the create it again so it will switch between the date that it was first created and of course the date that it was last edited when you're within any of your folders on the photos app you can actually arrange your photos manually so if i just want to move this picture all i have to do is just drag it and i can simply place it anywhere i want on that folder when you go to the phone settings on iOS 17 and earlier iOS versions as well, this is a pretty old feature, but it's actually very useful and a lot of people might not know about or have forgotten about this feature. When you go to the phone settings, go find respond with text. Now, this is what you get on your device by default. When you cannot respond, you cannot pick up a call to, with someone, you can actually quickly respond and these are the answers that you can basically send to them. But you can change this to anything you want. You will have three different options. You can write three different messages and then just click to send any of them when you take a screenshot or whenever you're marking up a photo on ios you know that now you will have some really cool tools with ios 17 so if i add a shape here which is really interesting on ios 17 i can add this shape but what i can do i can double tap on that shape which then allows me to add actually any text i want how cool is that add a shape double tap on it and add any text you want on that shape and for the last couple of ones, we're moving to the app library. When you go to the app library on iOS, if you just swipe here to search something, you will notice a few different letters, basically all the letters right here. Now what you can do, you can tap on any of the letters and it will take you to the apps that are 
with of course that letter beginning the name of them is beginning with that letter so you can quickly move between all the apps that you have on your device now another really cool thing you can do here is that you can use those letter actually as a slider so if i just slide my finger through these i can just quickly move between all of my apps so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one